Hello, good people. Hello, hello, hello. I'm a passion here. I know it's been a long time coming, but we are back. We are back with the podcasting end of year. And we talk, we talk about a groundbreaking topic like entrepreneurship. We know what happened in 2020 it came up with a lot of reservations, it came up with a lot of barriers, many businesses suffered. But now we want to talk about what we can do to move forward. 2021 is going to be a good year, we know that. So we want to see, pick up the pieces, see how we can put them together and move forward and make the shmoney. The shmoney. So guys, welcome to Z Dweepy, entrepreneur. Based in the USA, she's here to groom us and talk about purpose, business, and love and life. Thank you, guys. Let's listen to her. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Hi. See what we have here today. I know. I guess I'm in. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So, we'll just get on with the podcast. Um, okay. Yeah. So I'd love to introduce to you today our newest guest on the platform. We just want you to introduce yourself. Uh, well, uh, my name is Lizden Joypi, um, a young lady from Cameroon. I'm presently in the United States. And, okay. uh, <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> I love um, everything business, so I guess I'm here to talk about business today. So. Okay, we love to have you on here, Lizette. And um, actually, what caught my attention when it came to you was how how enthusiastic you are about what you do. Okay. You, I mean, you have a platform on Instagram. I know only about your Instagram platform. And it's not about you. It's mostly about your business. It's mostly about what you do. It's mostly about you building a brand. So what is this all about? What are you all about? Well, um, from a very young age, I've always just, you know, been very, like, you know, interested in, like, seeing people achieve their potential, right? So I've always Uh been very interested in, like, you know, achieving my goals, but also seeing everybody around me win. That's what I'm all about. I um, I just mm. love seeing people win. I just believe in people. I love seeing people win. And I believe in myself too. So from a very young age, mm-hmm. I've always wanted to see money grow. I've been that, I was that child that always, I was always like, you know, thinking about ways to make money. So at this age, I find mm-hmm. out that I really, really like care not only about like making money, but being able to use my platform, right? My brand to be able to encourage mm-hmm. people to also go after their dreams, to be able to encourage people to believe mm-hmm. in themselves, to have confidence in themselves. So uh, for me, it's it's not only about just achieving, it's about like making an impact, right? Making people feel like confident, you know, strong, welcome, you know, accepted, you know, and making them feel like they uh-huh. can get anything in life. So I'm using my brand um, uh-huh. as part of a strategy, right? To build myself up, but at the uh-huh. same time, I'm hoping that it will be an inspiration to so many people that they will rise up and they will uh-huh. go after their dreams. They will challenge themselves to believe in themselves and, you know, just Mm-hmm. go out there for whatever they want so it's it's the, the, the core of me is um inspiration support and then there is like a lot of people going after what they want and then there is also me that is just and i just want i just love i just love building things i just love winning i just love you know i just love i don't know i just love success i just love winning so there is also me if i don't if, mm-hmm. I, don't, if I don't they are just I just have these dreams that if I don't achieve them, I don't feel like I, I won't feel alive. So my businesses, my brand, they, they make me come alive. They are the things that wake me up in the morning. Uh-huh. They are the things that go I go back to sleep with. I think about them. They are part of me. They are my life. So, yeah. They are your babies. About. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So basically, your business is almost like your brand is your baby. Yes, I call them my baby. I'm glad that you brought it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that somewhere. 
I saw you say, I, I just got my second baby. Yeah. So <laughs> my brands are my babies until I actually have like babies, like real life babies. But yeah, like babies because um, it's like a dream, right? A dream is like a seed. Mm -hmm. um, it's a seed that is in you, mm -hmm. right? You might not be aware of mm -hmm. it. There might not be time for it yet. So like a pregnancy. It's in the mm -hmm. early stages of formation. You don't know, right? It's like you're walking around and mm -hmm. there's people with all these potentials. But you cannot see it because it's in them. It's buried in them. So there are times that there is something mm -hmm. that has to activate that um, dream in them. There Maybe there will be a word. There will be a circumstance. There will be a situation, right? I mean, like for me, it had mm -hmm. to take me. I had to come to this place. I don't think, like, like I say, these things were already a part of my dream, like my, a part of my life, a part of mm -hmm. my purpose on mm -hmm. the earth, right? Mm -hmm. But I just wasn't in the place yet where I could, like, you know, access it in the right way and then kind of activate it. So I believe that mm -hmm. the pregnancy is in different stages, right? And sometimes you don't, you don't even know that mm -hmm. there is a dream. And then there is a time that you start mm -hmm. seeing that struggle because you start feeling uncomfortable and you know there is something yeah. that you need to do. Maybe you start talking about it, you tell people. And if you're not very careful, mm -hmm. this is a stage where people, you know, just by talking to the wrong people, the dream can die because, you know, like your pregnancy, you need mm -hmm. to do certain things to keep it. So um, especially mm -hmm. when you're just starting out, it, it's really like very... Mm -hmm. Like when you just start, you're going to like they just just those mistakes that are going to happen where you you have this mm -hmm. start to do something more with your life and you don't know how to go about mm -hmm. it, so you're going to definitely make mistakes. But eventually, by with me, I'll always say with the help of God, right? Whom I whom I believe in so much, mm -hmm. I you know I had my babies, which are my dreams, my businesses, which I. I dedicate a lot of time to because, like I said, there is there is some things that they cannot do. I have to do for them, right? Until uh, they are mm -hmm. well established, I have people that can support it in certain ways. But yeah, so I call them my babies. I had my first baby, which is my first business. I mm -hmm. started that business, I believe, in two thousand and sixteen. Um, which is like a jewelry, mm -hmm. like I sell jewelry and I sell like um you know, casual clothes. I call it's called Lulu Classic Picks, um, because it's all about mm -hmm. just being casual but very like high fashion. And that is like the foundation, okay. which is baby number one. And I mean as we go through I can talk about baby number two. But each experience and baby number three, but each experience has been completely different. But the foundation, the core is when I went, when I went through number one, then it became easier, you know, for each, each one to like kind of materialize. But yeah, I call them my baby because mm -hmm. I mean, they mean a lot to me and I am just kind mm -hmm. of like investing in them and believing in them and just like doing what they need. So yeah, they're my babies. So. <laughs> okay. So some, you said something that really caught my attention, something that was of interest to me. You said. Your brand is kind of like your purpose. It's like your you. It's it's not about the. It's it's more intense than it look actually looks like. It's it's more more than the physical. Like you're trying to make a statement using your brand. Like the clothes, even putting out clothes that you put out is actually to tell people that you have to come out in confidence. It's something about trying to empower. You use your brand to empower people. It's not most. It's it's. Mm, Above the services and the the services and the products that you put, you, you 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 sell or you you put out there, it's above it. It's more about it's more about empowering people. So it's more like it's a combination of your purpose and um, it's a combination of a purpose and a business. If I understood you well, yeah. is that what you're trying? Is it what it's all about? Like it's a it's a combination of a vision of a purpose and then of and of a business yes it is because um eventually when i will when i will become more i'll have more time and i will probably spend more time on social media um people will kind of learn what ties me to each brand and what pre like what precip mm -hmm. like precipitated right each and every single brand like what is me like until you know who i am right 
you when people get to really know who I am and know a little bit about my story, then they will see why it mm-hmm. became very important for me to kind of like when I when I when I achieve these things, right? It becomes very important for me to tell the story because mm-hmm. it came from it just didn't come easy, right? It came from a place of great trials. I've had like issues in my own personal life and issues in my own okay. like um you know just just you know just um, okay. um how will i say this just like um you know the challenges of life right and it's through those mm-hmm. challenges that i grew the character i grew the stamina and there were also areas where mm-hmm. i had like fear i had like you know worry doubt anxiety i had you know mm-hmm. different situations in life and uh, for me to overcome mm-hmm. those situations and get to a place where I can boldly like make mm-hmm. a statement, even if it's just like selling jewelry or selling clothes or selling this. It's not only the clothes mm-hmm. I'm selling. I like I said, I'm hoping that by doing this, somebody can look at me and say, "Oh no!" Even though life has given me one two blows, right? I still can do something. I still yeah. can overcome the challenges. Um, there is so much okay. more behind this, but not at the point yet where I'm really sharing a lot so I will okay i think when i share more I, my story will kind of make people it, my story doesn't necessarily like, understand to, like what the brand is but it will make people understand why we need to look beyond the where you're coming from yeah where i'm coming from like why it means so much to okay me. yeah so Mm-hmm. Okay, so it, this is this is this is becoming really interesting. So it's about your personality, it's about a vision, it's about your purpose, and it's about a business. So, but as an as an entrepreneur, me myself, I understand when you say it comes from a place of trial because there's this thing having met people, having spoken to a lot of people and entrepreneurs and and people from coming with different visions. There's a, what there's what's common amongst all of us. The fact that we had to get to a point where we had to face a lot of trials and even more getting to rock bottom to realize our potentials. So most of the people built, built what they have now because they went through a phase of fire. They got burned to realize that they could take their scars and turn them into something delightful. So is that, is, I mean, is it is it coinciding with what exactly you're trying to say? Because it's something that I have experienced. It's something that so many other people have experienced, going through stuff, going through a phase that actually prompt, propelled them to the next stage in their lives. Is that is that actually what you're saying? Yeah, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, like you said, just going through some things. And I, I feel like, just to add to what you said, mm-hmm. I feel like those things are just... Um, part of the process right they are meant to kind of push yeah. you to that next level mm-hmm. to push you to that place where mm-hmm. you start mm-hmm. thinking like mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. what more is there you know i usually tell myself mm-hmm. right, what i what god usually has done for me because i would i'm mm-hmm. a christian and i i would share that because i feel like what god has done for me mm-hmm. is when it's time for me to go to the next level uh it would make me uh-huh. very uncomfortable, right? If it's a phase, if it's uh-huh. a phase in a job, if it's a phase in a, anything, he will make, he will just make, even uh-huh. if I was comfortable, he will make things uncomfortable. And I feel like there are just some places uh-huh. where you get there and you're like, you, I don't care what you do, uh-huh. it's time for the next level. And if no matter the situation, uh-huh. whether it's from God or it's from whatever external circumstances, uh-huh. it will, it, all of those things, they end up working for our good, right? They end up pushing us mm-hmm. into a place where we mm-hmm. need to go. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we, don't, we are like, not ready. We don't want to make that decision. We are looking at the resources. We are looking at what people will say. We are looking at what we've been through, who we were in the past. You know, how we, you know, mm-hmm. you, you, you've never felt like you could do anything. No preach, you this preach. It, right? So it's just like there is mm-hmm. all that fear and sometimes god has to just push you out there right like or the situation just push mm-hmm. you out there and you have nothing else to lean on that's which is exactly rock bottom that you're talking about so um for the yeah. entrepreneur yeah. it's always going to um, it's not going to be one phase of rock bottom right it's just like there's always going to be a place where you bottom out because maybe an, a phase in yeah. your business you need to go to the next level and you're stuck and sometimes you know, something has to completely phase out for you to think, right? Mm-hmm. To actually sit down and think. So 
Um, like I just mm-hmm. feel like um, like you said, most entrepreneurs are born. They are born. A lot of them are born. They are not yet aware. You understand me? They are not. They don't know. They don't mm-hmm. know that there is this thing in me. There is like businesses. There is like companies. There is like nonprofits. There is like mm-hmm. so much that I can do for my community. A lot of people don't know because mm-hmm. people that are looking at you, they don't like even that. know your potential, <laughs> right? They don't. They don't even know your mm-hmm. potential. I'm telling you, like there are people that will look at you right now doing this, and they're like, they would never have seen it in you. Maybe they have even like. This, Without even mm. knowing, they might mm. have shown. So I feel like every single time that people tell you, everything that people mm-hmm. have told me that, like any time, like everything that they negated, that you really cared about in your life, in a, in on a very mm-hmm. in, like in the early stages, this is what I talk about the formation. Most of the times, these are things that you're born mm-hmm. with, you're good at, but those things are in you, right? But nobody sees it. So there are so mm. many people that are just yeah. in the dark. They have things they want to do. They don't know how to start. They don't know where to start. They don't know. They don't even believe in themselves because maybe they've they've always had like negativity around them. So I feel like there are so many dreams mm-hmm. that need to be born, and it just it's mm-hmm. just in people. It's like a seed. It's in there. So it's something, somebody, a word, or something has to kind of you know spark that flame. So that is one of my purposes that. By maybe somebody watching me doing it and like, you know, because sometimes I'm like, mm-hmm. how do I, you know, I get to a point, I'm like, okay, how do I do this one? You know, but I'm like, okay, you, mm-hmm. know, I, you know, now it's get, at first I just couldn't, mm-hmm. but now it's like, okay, I have to do it. I need to do it. It's like, mm-hmm. like I relate it to a baby. It's like, if you have a baby, even if it's your first baby, you have to figure it out, right? I've mm-hmm. never had a baby before, but you have to figure out each step. Okay, they are crying now. They've been crying. I've given everything that I need to figure out. There must be something wrong. So you get to a place where you have to do something. So I feel like um, mm-hmm. if people are pushed, mm-hmm. for, you know, just by watching other people and believing, yeah, exactly. they can actually rise up. I just feel like we cannot be silent about, you know, people going after what they want. Yeah, yeah. I- yeah, so so actually you have to put yourself out there. That's part of the empowering other people. You don't know who sees you. You don't know who's inspired by you. You don't know who's been afraid to put themselves out there. But I mean, just watching you could make them, I mean, I mean, even about even with people that are out there already. For example, maybe I could be, I mean, being an entrepreneur, there's some days we have our lows. There's some days where we feel discouraged. As you said, it's a it's a it's a continuous process. You said the rock bottom doesn't get any easier. It keeps getting, I mean, we always feel like I'm going to get rock bottom today. So more, when I get over this, that's the end. But we never, different stages of life, different stages mm-hmm. of this thing that we've embarked on, journey we've embarked on, we're going to face different challenges. So it's almost like there's days that I need to be inspired to, to do my own mm-hmm. stuff, my own vision, to carry out my own focus. And then I look at Lizette and I say, oh, there she is going. I'm inspired. Why am I sitting? Why am I quiet? Let me go out there and continue doing my own work. So it's about, it's not even only about inspiring only those who haven't come out with what, with their purpose or those who, ha- who are not yet living in their purpose. It's also inspiring people already living in their purpose to keep on going. So I, I, I won't lie, some days you inspire me. There's some days that I just come on and I read something from you. I'm like, you know what? Let me get on work. Let me put in some work. This is She's talking to me. This is something that I resonates with me. So it's just about the it's a, it's a whole circle. Yeah. So yes, she's inspiring us. I feel inspired by you. For no, real. I'm, also, I'm also inspired by you. And thank you for that. It makes me <laughs> want to get up and do something. And you, you're right. You're right. I just want to say you're right because... You know, just with this pandemic, it, there was a point where I was just like, but like you said, you learn, like by looking at somebody post mm-hmm. something, by looking at somebody do something, right? It kind of inspires you. And I feel mm-hmm. like I've been inspired by you too and by all the other Cameroonian entrepreneurs and other like people from mm-hmm. all over mm-hmm. the world, right? They don't even know mm-hmm. that they have they have blessing me every day. So we just have to keep looking at each other, right? Just to... Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so there's something that I wanted. I wanted to go to a a, a a next question. I wanted to ask you. You are a Cameroonian. You are you identify yourself as a Cameroonian. You identify yourself as an African. In, in you're in a foreign land. You're in the Western world. 
and you have to operate like an entrepreneur in a foreign in a foreign man's land. So how is it? How is it like operating your business in in the United States of America? Because you're not in Cameroon, you're in a in a, in a strange man's land. So how is it? How easy is it? Or how hard is it operating in a strange land? Building a brand in a strange place. You know, I was actually thinking about it today and I, um, you know, it's really weird that it is, it is actually very easy to be, to business in the United States. I was thinking about it today. So, um, like for example, the, ta- like, okay, I'm an accountant professionally, right? And that has, I'm thankful to God for that because that has given me the leeway to work. I worked in an accounting firm where I was able to see so many small business owners who could not hire an accountant, Mm -hmm. but they just needed some bookkeeping or some management or some accounting or to get some reports. So from that accounting Mm -hmm. firm at one of my jobs, I was able to work with small businesses up to medium size Mm -hmm. corporations, right? And you see these people that have little or no knowledge about, they are from different parts of the world. They are not only Americans. You see people from all over the world. They don't have any accounting knowledge. They don't have any business knowledge. They just have an idea. They have a dream. And they uh-huh. would, you would probably, you, you would do the business registration for them. You would do their, their books for them. You would do their payroll. So you do the paychecks that they pay the employees. You probably uh-huh. either you direct deposit into the employee's account or you create checks and they pick it up. But this people uh-huh. speak English, I tell you. So this is one of the jobs. So uh-huh. when I am doing, I can't reveal a lot, but you would look at the people that walk in. And you're like, this person doesn't mm-hmm. even speak English. But they are running a profitable business. I mean, a good, it's not even a big business, okay? It's a small business. And I have to tell all of my friends. Okay. Okay. 